This is the 145 pound amateur weight class. Introducing first, fighting out of the headgear MMA blue corner. He is an MMA fighter with a record of one win and no losses. Representing Team Quest and fighting out of Portland, Oregon, this is Scary. Gun Reed being cornered by his coach and of course well known Desert Dog leader JT Taylor. Yeah, he suffered through some uh, trials and tribulations in his life and he's uh, come out the other side, so uh, we'll see what he's got here tonight. Glad to see him back here in the cage. Railgun Reed wearing the white and red trunks, Gary Snap in the black. And here we go. No feeling out period here. These both guys are going at it. Coming out very aggressive. Nice kicks out of Railgun Reed. Oh, he's got some combos. Snap looking like he just wants to box with them a little bit. He's going for some good shin kicks to the body. There's another one. Better cover up his face though when he throws those kicks. Yeah, it's costing him a little bit on the kicks for sure. Now he's going for the takedown now. He's done with that. <laughs> Fell into side control. Railgun's got the top game, he does a little push off. There's, there's a choke there, he couldn't get the legs to lock in. He's got it on top, he might get to go for the back here. He's gonna climb up on his back here, I bet he's gonna take his back. Got the arm, get that leg out. There it is, he's riding high. Now he's gonna sit up over, try to go for that arm. Looking for the Kimura. He's got it up behind his back. This could be it. He's got the leg lock. Wow. He's got the position. That does not look comfortable. Oh, Snap is scrambling. If he rolls to the top and does it, he could be. It's gonna be over now. Triple threat. Oh, nice position right now for Reed. Just smothering Snap on the ground. And this a, is good. And a great, great uh, will to survive here and struggled out of that move because he had him pretty good. He's got that arm again though. He's not giving up on it. There it is again. He has to get top game though. Sean Gregory in the cage here tonight from the Oregon State Athletic Commission. If Megan can sit up and get on his back here, he'll get in any position he wants. Submission he wants there. He lets him up out of it. Just the knee, of course, his hands, both hands are off the ground. Short time in round one. There's a front headlock. Very good action in that first round. Yeah, the 145ers like to scramble. A good uh, first fight here tonight for Budo Fights 12 domination. Mike is taking the initiative and keeping control, and uh, we'll see what happens in the second round. You know, Snap did a really good job on his defense, so he did really good at holding, holding on strong getting out of it, but uh, I, I would get that round, obviously, to read. And these 
are three three-minute rounds. This is the amateur fighters. A veteran desert dog versus an undefeated 1-0 Team Quest fighter. Here we go, round two. Both fighters look like they're in pretty good shape, so conditioning is probably yep, not going to be a factor. Yeah, they're ready to go. Oh! Nice hands from Snap. Yeah, real good looking. Better, real looking better keep his hands up with those exchanges. Right, He's on the ground with Railgun though again, and, and Reed's no stranger to the ground. Reed pulled, tried to pull guard, but he pulled himself right into the fence, so uh, I think it uh, hindered him or helped him. He's got to get his head and shoulders out of that fence. Once you get your head and your shoulders in the fence, it takes away your hip mobility. He's got that choke. Reed going for that rear naked choke. I don't know if he's going to be able to pull it off from that position. He's riding a little high. Snap is out of it. Oh, he, can, he can transition to something else. So just be careful. He's got oh, an armbar. There's the armbar. Very bar. nice. Transition to the armbar. Yeah, he might be able to. He no. strings it out. This is he it. He might be able to pull that off. This is it. I don't see him getting out of it. Oh, ouch. Oh, he wow. over the top. Snap is not giving up. He still has it. It's Reed is like trying to break his arm off right now. He just has to roll with it. That does not look comfortable at all. Reed needs to uh, Oh my goodness. transition. He needs to readjust. Hand, arm should not bend that way. <laughs> oh, he could not hold on to it. Snap is out. Wow. I, you know, I, props to Snap. Snaps out, but he's not out of danger yet. He's right no, back he's in mount. Not. Yeah. He's in mount. That's even worse. He's going to put the hooks. He needs to get the hooks in there. Yeah, constant defense will uh, not win you the fight. This is not boxing, folks. <laughs> We're going to go for that. Hanging on the side there. Reed looking over at Coach General JT Taylor, looking for some mission opportunities. Well, he can get him from right here. He just got to get it. Reed doing a very good job of controlling his opponent, and that that's going to win him points. He's going for that choke. Better watch his neck there. There's the armbar. If he got his head, barely got his head in there and blocked that armbar. Every time that Snap tries to capitalize on, on Reed, he finds a submission and he has to defend it. So that's Reed doing a very good job on the ground. Short time in that round two. I give it the same as the well, he's going for the reversal, the hip out. He's got the yeah, and ending with Reed on top, I mean, that, that looks good for him. He's had a lot of sufficient attempts. Once again, we found Gary Snap doing the defense. I think it went just the way the first round Yeah, was. yeah. Right. He's uh, two for two right now. Listening to that gangster music and going into the end of the third round here at Fudo Fights 12. <laughs> Fighters seem to be in good shape. Yeah, this is uh, this is not just cage fights, folks. This is Budo fights. <laughs> Capacity crowd in attendance. The attendance is on point. It's it's always a great showing for Budo. Here we go, round three. This will be the final round. Who's gonna take it, folks? I can see Snap being pretty hungry in this one. He's got to finish him. He's got to finish him. Oh, oh, snap. Snap oh my goodness! Wow. Seems to be wow! What just happened? Cheeto, what happened? Some kind of injury. There, yeah. His corners through the talon right away. Um, they stopped the fight. 
Reed does not look happy with instruction from the commission. I, I'm curious to see what this result is. The way you look at it, it's from an injury. Good sportsmanship, always a Budo fight. Budo gun making sure he's okay. Showing why uh, people and we love the sport so much. You don't quite know what the injury is yet. Yeah. Yeah. Proves his record. You know, it's probably bittersweet for Micah Rogan Reed to see the fight end that way in injury, such as his last one here at Budo Fights, of course, with him being the one injured. Um, it, it's got to be bittersweet. He's got the win tonight. His record advances to three and five. Here we go. Talk about the first two rounds and then what just happened there at the end. So what did you see when you came out and it looked like you guys started, but there wasn't any contact? What, what do you think happened just now? For the night, man. All right, anybody you want to thank for helping you get here tonight? JT Taylor, all my desert dogs. Fucking love you guys. Folks, first fight is in the books for Buddha Fights 12 domination. We are going to fight number two out of nine. Buddha Fights brought to you by 107.7 beat. Max Muscle, always a strong supporter. Hola. Ola's been here since uh, almost the beginning of Budo Fights. We're on Budo Fights 12, and they've been a very strong, repetitive sponsor. Solid supporter there. Yeah, MMA Madhouse. Everyone comes out and supports Budo Fights. I mean, the, the walls are covered in banners. Uh, these programs are covered in logos. You know, you'll see on our stream all the support that this, uh, this promotion gets, which is a testament to how much the fans and everybody love MMA in Central Oregon. Coming out to the cage is a veteran fighter. He is named Hardcore Cord Floyd. He is out Junction City. This is a welterweight fight, and um, you know, props to Cord. He actually has been the. Um, I believe the fourth replacement for his opponent um, stepped up to the plate literally very late this week and turned up the weigh-ins last night. He made weight um, and just that, that's a gamer right there. The sport appreciates that, the promoters appreciate it. Um, he's got four fights underneath his belt and uh, here we are. Yeah, he came to fight. Northwest Training Center in Roseburg, Oregon. We got James Jones, the kid. He's six foot with a record of 0-2. 170 pound amateur. Uh, since his finishing move is his right hand, we'll see about that. Gives him 
invited to the gym when he was only 14 years old and uh, never left. We saw him earlier, a teammate of his, Brian Walters, fighting out at Northwest Train Center, um, you know, competing in the Budo Jitsu tonight. Their ground game's on point. Uh, they're known to be a kickboxing based, you know, gym. So I could to see an all around fighter out of James. You know, anything can go down with these amateur fights.